Good evening. I felt invisible, alone and isolated. The words of boxer and former Coventry City footballer Leon McKenzie. He struggled with depression and contemplated suicide, which is why he's now backing a campaign to get men more involved in sport as a way of tackling depression. Men aged between 45 and 49 are the group most likely to take their own lives. And the West Midlands registered one of the highest percentage increases in suicide rates in the country between 2013 and 2014. But as Joan Cummins reports, depression doesn't need to be faced alone. Leon McKenzie seemingly had it all. A successful professional footballer, including stints at Coventry City and Norwich. But injuries and relationship failures led to a suicide attempt. Took one pill after another and then uh, literally just, you know, very fortunate to be here. Today, Leon was a guest speaker at a mental health awareness campaign, It Takes Balls to Talk. Listening in the audience, Chris Bottomley. His son Richard was just 21 when he took his own life. With the suicide rates in men under 50 growing, Chris believes that it's only by talking about depression that lives will be saved. I like to think that if they can actually get out there and young men get them to actually think about it, possibly talk to a friend, a parent, somebody individual, but if they've got the chance and the knowledge to talk to somebody and it makes a difference and saves somebody's life, then by heck yes it's worth it. This campaign will target sporting venues and encourage men to help themselves and their mates by talking. Paul Saki, a former England international rugby player, says it's time men learnt how to be honest about their health. We all cry at some point. We're human at the end of the day. Everyone's got that emotion in them. It's just being able to release that emotion and letting people understand that you are actually hurting, whatever it is, whatever emotion that you are feeling at that time. Leon says he's a born fighter. He's now in training for a chance as the English super middleweight champion, but his biggest battle is fighting and winning the war with depression. I'm a big grown man, 38 years old, and I've probably done a lot of crying in my life. To be able to show some emotion sometimes and be able to uh, cry about something that may be affecting you, but also is gonna help you going forward, I see that that person is a strong man. Joan Cummings, BBC Midlands, today. Well, today's campaign has been organised by the mental health nurse, Alex Cotton, who joins us now from our Coventry studio. Good evening. Good so what prompted you to do this? Hi, Mary. I'm, I've worked as a mental health nurse for 20 years, and most recently in the last um, just over, under two years, I've worked with the police in the uh, street triage team based in Coventry. And I think that um, having worked with the police I've kind of lived and felt the statistic that most men don't contact services. So that's three quarters of men who go on to take their own lives have not tried to access services. And Alex, it might sound very simple, mightn't it, you know, yeah. sharing problems, sure. but it is quite difficult to get people, particularly men, to open up. Absolutely, and it, hopefully with It Takes Balls to Talk campaign, we're looking at role models from sporting to, to give the hard kind of working man or be the stigma or the um, persona of men talking to men. We want men to open up to each other and we've got a slogan, be a missing mate. So it's kind of encouraging men, it doesn't have to be services, but just looking out for each other so that they know that they, can, they have someone to talk to. And just briefly Alex, is it possible to say how effective just talking, opening up can be? Well, it, I think it's invaluable. It's got to start somewhere. If we don't talk, I don't know how we can treat and it's, it's we have, um, we can stop the suffering by talking, but it's that initial talking, which is really hard for men, and I understand that's hard for men, but I'm hoping with, with um, role models like um, Leon, we can put a message out there and make it easy, accessible for men, whether that be by um, texting, emailing, telephoning, or just talking to their mates. Alex. Just get it out there. Alex, thank you very much indeed no for your problem. time. That's Alex Cotton. Thank launched. you very much. Thanks for your time Cheers. this evening. Bye. Now, if you've been affected by any of the issues raised by this story, there's more information about where you can find help and support on the BBC's Action Line pages. Two people.